Oh, excuse me. There you guys. Uh, doing a little bit more playtesting with the Steam Controller tonight. Um, I did some Battlefield 4 earlier. My throat is still a little bit on the fritz, so I probably will not be doing much talking. But... <clears throat> Figured I could maybe do a little bit. Uh, gonna do probably a, f a few games tonight. Uh, I got a couple of driving ones. Uh, had a couple of requests to see uh, driving with the gyro. So I will try doing that. And uh, maybe do a twin stick and maybe uh, another FPS. So, let me make sure the mic is coming through okay. Sounds like it. All right. So let's do this. <clears throat> Move the mic a little closer here. Um, this is the retail version of the controller, actually. This is not the um, developer one. And as you can see, I mean, it looks exactly the same. The only difference that I did notice was on the inside. Um, I don't know if this will actually focus that close, probably not, but on the inside here it was basically, um, it didn't have any of the FCC information and it was, uh, talked about it being a um, development build or developer build. Um, and the other difference was uh, these little clips in here that hold the battery in. Um, on the developer build you actually have to really press these up even to get the battery in. Like you have to press them up way up high to be able to slide the battery in. On this build there's actually a little piece of metal in there that when the battery's out these are actually up towards the top here so there's plenty of room to slide the battery in you just snap the battery in place and it goes in uh, nice and easy so those are the only differences between the uh, the retail and the developer just make sure this is done all right so Oh yeah, I played a little bit of that too. Um, I was going to do uh, some Dirt 3, I believe. Uh, yeah. Weird, okay. It, like it stopped no uh, haptic feedback was happening and the trigger wasn't working um, so I wonder does this game have full controller support all right so we'll go with that and I believe since this is probably steer we will turn this guy on and it's going to be directional no joypad move we'll do output on left yes and I guess I could turn the haptics intensity and I'll keep it off but I do want to probably have whoa yeah there's the bindings that aren't quite written yet 
right, so we've got options of left pad touch, right pad click, left pad click, right pad touch, uh, right bumper, left bumper, right grip, left grip. Interesting that you can't do the uh, do the triggers. Under what the deal with that is, but I'm going to set this to always on since I'm going to actually use it to steer. And steering axis is roll, which is this. So I probably want to do yaw. And we'll try it out. See what it does. Oop. Back in the game. There we go. Hit B too many times. All right. I had some trouble with Dirt 3 because of Windows 10 when I was initially getting this set up to even just see if the game would run and I'm wondering if it's going to give me problems now it's starting to look like it is Oh, nope, there it goes. Put that up there too. There we go. It was just taking a while. So get that off the screen. Now, it might be a little tricky, and I might end up using this not always on. Uh, just simply because just holding the controller is going to start moving the stick here. So I might end up having an activation trigger on it, but yeah, we'll give it a shot here. I've got a great feeling about this. If you're ready to start the Dirt Tour, the first championship series is waiting for you. Or you can also check out multiplayer for some totally awesome racing. What'll it be? All right, let's make sure. Okay, that's still set. See it? Oh, yep. Okay, probably need to adjust. See if it works. If not, I'll just use the stick. Uh, we'll do a single race. Sure. First time ever playing this game, so we're just jumping right in. ID problems. Awesome. Thank you. 
kind of works. Whoa, I don't know. I wouldn't want to play like this normally, but it definitely works. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Probably actually need to set the uh, to be more aggressive steering instead of relaxed. But yeah, the problem with motion steering is you also have your gas and your brakes on your triggers. So you have to keep them on there, so you can't really get a tight turn. But, you know, I mean, it works. And actually working better than I would expect it to. My, uh... My uh, my previous experience with motion controls, and we're in the trees, uh, is with like the Wii and games like uh, Mario Kart, where it definitely was not very good with the motion controls. I mean, it worked, but. But it, uh, uh, I'm lo losing train of thought, and, but yeah, I mean, it, it worked, but it was so inaccurate, and it's, it's good that it was just kind of a, more of an arcade -y type of game, like Mario Kart, because otherwise, trying to do something like this with, uh, Gran Turismo, or s and all them people are dead. Oh. And they're dead too. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Really? This. All right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. All right. Let's try a different response curve and see if that helps with the steering any. Okay. Uh, let's go to an aggressive curve. Actually, no, let's do linear. I don't want it to hit 100% so quickly. So... We'll do one more and then we'll do it with a stick just to see what it's what it's like. I'll and I'll actually turn off the gyro. To see which one I prefer. The uh triggers, even though they're analog, I don't know that they're actually putting analog into the game. I don't know if the game actually supports analog throttle. Um, because it seemed like it was just immediately, even just barely pulling the trigger, 
it seemed like it was just immediately uh, at 100%. Oh no, it's analog. Sweet. Oh yeah, right. This. So yeah, it's uh, it is analog throttle. Cool. see what the first person perspective is too if there is one because normally I hate driving games in third person like this because it always screws me up whenever I see the uh, whenever I see the tail swing out I end up overcompensating for it in the opposite direction and spinning out or running off the edge or doing whatever so it's possible or if it's possible to do first person in this game I would prefer to do that the gyro may be off center or something because it's definitely okay See, like it's not turning. So I'm thinking the gyro probably needs some way to to recenter it, recalibrate it. Because right now this is almost like straight instead of it being up top. So yeah, if there's some way to recalibrate the uh, the gyro to make sure it's centered here, and then you can get your left and right, I think that may work okay. Oh, I, uh, did I? No. Oh, God. The gyro is fighting me. Stop it. Stop, stop. Oh, yeah, because it's... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the gyro's off-center. All right, let's turn that thing off. While that's doing its thing. And we will do... None. Okay. So let's see how it works with the stick. Yeah, 
Yeah, first person is so much better. You know, I actually started doing racing games with uh, Gran Turismo and using the right stick for acceleration and brake. So it's actually weird to me using the triggers for acceleration and brake, but this actually feels pretty good. Yeah, this actually feels really good. Tried to overtake him. Got too greedy. Medium left. Medium right. Easy left. Easy right over crest. Easy right, 100. Over finish. So yeah. Definitely prefer the stick for that. But... It's cool that the motion controls work, you know? Neat. So that was this button, I think, that switched the views? Or was it this one? It was one of these two. Alright, so... So let's try a different course. Let's see what's out there. So the only two, okay. for that one yet, but actually you know what? Let's uh let's live dangerously. Uh this is just the Oh okay, I see what it is. <clears throat> it's your skin for your car. But yeah, so anyways, on Gran Turismo, you would use up and down on the on the uh, right pad. So you, that was your acceleration and your brake. And then you would steer with your uh, left stick. So when I first played Forza and having to use the triggers, it was completely foreign. And it's still a little weird to me, but I'm getting more used to it. And it feels really good in this game, so. 
That's a good sign, I suppose. once I actually start playing this game like this I'll be uh, working on using manual controls and actually turning off any traction controls if, they're, if it's on there which it feels like it is because I'm not sliding all over the place and it seems to automatically be adjusting for me like into the turn it's automatically downshifting and doing all that so that's it's actually a little weird because I'm not even really letting off of the uh, the stick I mean off of the throttle only occasionally I guess that's kind of a Gives you a feel of more of an arcade style racing instead of a simulation. It's weird though that it's doing all this. Whoops. Because it's. It doesn't feel right that I'm just blowing through this with no problems. Like, it's slowing down for me. It's weird. I don't think it did that in the other one. It's just doing it in this one. Or at least it didn't feel like it was doing that in the other one. up Project Cars a while back when it uh, kind of in anticipation of the, getting this controller. So I plan on doing quite a bit of that. Since I can't have Gran Turismo, well, other than emulating, I can't have Gran Turismo on computers. So Project Cars looked like it was a good, a good alternative. Oh, I lost my spoiler. Nice. Uh, looked like it was a good alternative, and I also want to check out uh, Assetto Corsa, which seems like it's a, a nice uh, simulation, but more of a blend between cinema, uh, simulation and arcade. This one seems more almost straight up arcade, but it could be, like I said, that I haven't messed with any of the car controls or anything so it could be that it is simply let's do let's do that trucks huh oh buggies buggies yeah let's do buggies do it at night let's go for it um <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's see what vehicle settings we have. Mm, excuse me. Mm. 
Uh, it's like night night. The screenshot looked like it was kind of a sunset. stiffer suspension. Okay. And, oh yeah, casual. Only minor assistance, car control, offer a fair challenge. Okay, let's try it. Wait, what's under here? One, stability. There's an auto steer, really? <laughs> eh, I guess if you just want to see the sights, it's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Nice. Uh, for right now, until I get used to the game, we'll do visual only. Okay. Yeah, because that was just weird just to be able to hold down throttle throughout the whole thing and not have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's different. I actually have to brake now. It's a different driving experience with those assists off. Too far, too much, too much, too much. Oh, come on. It's the same damn turn, too. You know, I do. I, I do have to say I appreciate it doesn't blare music at you while you're racing. mainly because of content ID, but sometimes it's nice to just be able to hear hear the engine here if you're sliding, things like that, so I do appreciate that. Alright, 
so we'll try... We'll try the next one. On a, uh, not buggy. Let's see if I... Oh, I have a snap-on. Cool. Alright, let's do rally. Um, I really like Norway, uh, but let's do Michigan. Rain, sure. What do we have? Evening sun, morning sun, wet, night, and rain. Let's do rain. And we'll see how this does. Almost screw that one. traction. There we go. I'm giving this crowd a show. At least. Oh, hello. Whoa. Cut. 
Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Oh yeah. I'd say, uh, I'd say this game works fine. Just fine. Now that I've got it installed, I actually want to play a little bit. Like, you know, actually go through the tour and unlock stuff. Quite cool, quite cool. Oh, excuse me. And, alright. So now, come on that. And let me see. What else I have? Oh yeah, okay. And I had one more driving. Uh, somebody wanted me to do Burnout Paradise. So, first off, let's see. So this one says no controller support, but I know that's wrong because I did a uh, test of this, like a first impression of it about a year ago maybe and uh, get my stuff back up here and it worked just fine with a 360 controller so um, where's my, there's my mouse there we go okay so we will configure it as a gamepad okay and I mean, I suppose we could do the motion control, but eh, I don't know. For this one specifically, I don't think so, just because it's too chaotic, maybe, is the right word for it, because it's, everything's, too many things are going on, uh, and the turns are too tight, that I don't think motion control is going to be the way to go. So, I can try it, but, no, but I am going to assume that it's not going to be great. Okay, that all looks all right. And this should automatically be set up for windowed. Yep. Totally getting content on an ID on this one. I spent way too much time editing the video of this for the first impression. Oh, good. Good to know. And it's not in mouse mode. Fantastic. Try again. That's, I don't know if it's a DX wind that's causing it or not. Oh, off the screen. screen. There we go. Weird.
shows the... Oh, I did not realize that. How do you go back to the other way? Yeah, that'll work. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's opposite directions. Having to compensate. Oh yeah, what? It's completely opposite. All right, let's see. Is there any way to invert its direction? It's having binding invert, but no. Hmm try it with you roll let's see if that does anything you're ready for a burning route created just for this car okay. beat the time and win an upgraded model of your car and ride. we'll do be more aggressive response. Just pull up at a traffic signal, then hold the brake and hit the gas. Any events you find are added to your map. Get ready to race. You are here. Race Let's try it. West to the naval yard. I don't remember what the boost... Oh, that's the boost. Okay. I do love this game, though. The compass at the top of the screen points to the finish line, and the road signs help you find the next turn. Any shortcuts you'll have to find for yourself. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh. I probably shouldn't have boosted into that. <laughs> Whoops. Another driver off the road to score a takedown and pick up a boost bonus. I'm supposed to go. I'm just racing.
kind of want to set it up in a driving game to where the paddles on the back are gears uh, shifting up and down. Event wins are shown on your driver's license. Keep up your winning streak to advance to the next license. When you take a wreck through an auto repair for the first time, the burning roof for that car is added to your map. In real life. There are burnout billboards all over Paradise City. Can you smash through them all? It'd be nice if you could just turn the music off. Whoa! Nope, hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm at the brake and I hit the turbo. Oops. But yeah, if there was just, in this game in particular, if there was an easy way to just turn off the music, that would be fantastic. Spin your car, head for a ramp at top speed, then hit the E brake to spin off the edge. But you gotta admit, a game like this is just pure fun to drive. It removes all pretense of trying to be trying to be a simulation or anything like that. You just driving and smashing shit and there's just something appealing about that especially coming off of work and you just need to blow off some steam you got your first person shooters that make that good and you got your smash everything driving games that make that good See if I can find another race or something out here. Oh, don't touch the, uh, don't touch the right stick when you're trying to steer completely fucks it up what's it doing not sure hmm. maybe it was doing nothing, maybe I just did something else at the same time but it felt like it just completely took over steering. 
Mm -hmm. Got more than five thousand points, so. I can go through. Yeah. Good way to end it. Oh, no, I still got 30 seconds. Whoops. Ah, damn. Now I see the ramp. Oh, come on. Okay. Ah, here we go. Wait. Wait, what? My time was up like a minute and a half ago. All you needed to upgrade your license to a class D. All your wins have okay. been off the map. So you can beat an event again Weird. and add that win to your new license. Celebrate upgrading your license with a new car. The Hunter Mesquite has been delivered to the junkyard. work okay now I have been seeing a lot of people complaining um, now that they've gotten their controller um, most of the complaints that I've been seeing have been either people not using big picture mode to configure the controller they just pick it up launch a game and go some of them have gotten lucky and have a layout that automatically works for the game that they're trying to play but most of them have 
have found that the default layouts are not necessarily going to be ready for that specific game. Um, and granted, yes, Valve could uh, absolutely provide a little bit better documentation. I'm hoping because this is kind of the what would be considered an early access uh, so we're all basically beta testing for them right now I would hope that the November 10th shipment actually has better documentation uh, has stuff packed in with the box that tells you about going into big picture mode making your adjustments you don't necessarily have to use big picture mode to play the game you just have to use it to configure your controller and I don't want that over there why did that go over there that must have been there a while um, but yeah I don't want to use you don't have to use big picture mode to actually play the game so you just have to use it to configure the controller and I think once people figure that out it um, will help and they will kind of better come to understand how the you know how the controller is supposed to work the other set of complaints I've been seeing is that people don't want to make configuration adjustments to every game that they go to play and I, I get that that can be an annoyance but at the same time this is not a standard controller you know it's not a keyboard and mouse it's something in between and you kind of have to think of it in a different way so uh, what was I gonna look for oh right um, so we'll set this up as eh, nice do I, have, I don't have any personal ones. Um, I'm curious now that they've made these buttons smaller here, are these boxes smaller? If there's going to be more down the line uh, as far as further below, or if it is going to um, just be these four, which is fine. And I think the I think these look better being small like this than they were. I'm curious though if this is gamepad controls, bindings, Steam controller. You know what? I'm just going to go with the template. I'm going to go with. No. Uh, I want gamepad. So we got our right stick, left stick. This is basically set up as a. Xbox controller. Oh, hello. This is new. So this is in gamepad mode right now once the game launches, but now that the launcher's up, I can actually use... Oh, nice can actually use it as a mouse and keyboard to get through the launcher sweet that's new and I'm wondering if that's in every game let's turn that down a little bit I suppose I can continue well, I probably shouldn't because I've completely forgotten the controls now. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, that's no good. It's only on the outside. Which would normally be fine, but I'd like to be able to just do this. 
So let's fix that if we can. And we'll probably just need to go with a wide response. And wait, do we have a dead zone? They take out the dead zone slider. Oops. Let's move that up. Kind of looks like they took out the dead zone slider. So let's bump up the anti dead zone. It's still on the outside only. I mean, I know I can slide it to keyboard and mouse. I definitely don't like it being on that, though. I don't like it being all the way at the end like that. So there's no way to adjust the... Oh, there we are. Yeah. It's... Wow. Super sensitive. I can see that this is not going to be ideal for this game. Yeah. Not ideal at all. That's way too... way too sensitive so let's see what some of the community ones are doing that well hold on hold on hold on let's one more thing Do that. And let's turn off the, or turn down the sensitivity of it. So let's see some community ones. What do we get? Sure, why not? Oh, so he's using, yeah, keyboard and mouse. Okay. Mm and this is. Sensitivity seems way low on that. Which it is. I might have to adjust that up a little bit. And the haptics are a bit higher than I like them to be. Alright, so we got... Why do people bind... stuff... To the click here, the like the shift or the uh, the sprint key. Yeah. Um, all right. So we got. Oh, okay, he just didn't rename them. That's why, because he's got flashlight and user relo. Oh, Jesus, why? Okay, so we got grab reload in the back here, which is probably not correct. Grab and look. Yeah. 
and sure. Oops. What has he done to this mouse? My god. Maybe it's just the game. Because this, uh... It feels really weird using this in the mouse. Hmm. Oh, I'm dying, apparently. guy come from yeah fine yeah no I'm dead Feels a little bit better with it being not quite so close to you. So you're not just spinning. Uh, that, yes. Okay. Oh, shit. No. Can I not back out? Trying to get my bearings here. Uh, there's the mouse. There we are. Um, let's see. Do we have any. go out once I get in. Okay. I really want this to be a twin stick. Um, but the way that it's done in this game to where you can only use it around the edge here. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. And let's go back to that. And sure. That's... 
Mm -mm. I don't know. I do not know. Let's go with a relaxed curve. I wish I knew what this was going to do. So let's take the Yeah, that just feels weird to have to do it at the complete extreme edge like that. Uh. uh okay, what does my buttons do? Are you no nope nope oh, really can the game be set up uh, so walk So the triggers are lock or the stick. Well, that's weird. finish okay so the trigger looks now wow all right okay can we get out of there there we go playing like this, but we'll try it. Ugh. What are we doing? There we go. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. God, no. Why? Why? Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Alright, so let's see what this guy did. So I'm going to escape, return. Okay, he's got restart here, pick up weapon on this side, finisher, the look, and the shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh, wrong one. So 
no, 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 Wondering if I should start from the new game. And try to get used to this control with uh, not quite as many guys around. to the beginning here and try to get used to this a little bit. Okay. Okay. Massive a punch, aim at the face. Once you've knocked someone out, you have to finish him. Just press the space, got it. Uh, sure, yep. Left, mouse button, punch, space to finish, got it. And Sammy, don't mess us up, got it. Take it, left mouse button to swing it. Do you think skull? Yep. Yep, left to swing, listening, yep, okay. Um Dude, what did you buy into right mouse? <laughs> did you seriously Oh, okay. Did you seriously not buy anything? Yeah, probably a lot. I could already. 
already tell you though that I do not like this layout. So. I'll try. Uh, nope. Not looking like this guy. So we got... sensitivity low so it doesn't fling too far across. Carefully, got it. I think that's what's screwing me up is because the the target is always there <clears throat> so it's not a it's not you're not moving closer to it so I'm instinctively moving the mouse when I should just let it go okay have to get used to not moving the mouse with me. to restart that one. Yeah, this game is gonna... <laughs> nice. This game is gonna take a little getting used to. It might end up working. Yeah. Uh, 
So we gotta get in there. Okay. I supposed to grab oh uh, space nope oh this from the first time I played. Yeah. I wonder, can I, ooh, gun. Can I drop, nope. Locked onto that guy then. Okay. Oh, car, car. Not that car. There we are. Okay, so dumps. Yeah, this one's definitely an awkward one because it doesn't work well with the twin stick mode because it's on the outside edges only. And with the mouse mode, you end up having to overcompensate or you'll get too close, then it just kind of flips you around when you don't want it to. So it's... um. While it's playable, and I'm sure with enough time you could get used to it, I, at least this initial impression is not superb for this game. I wish that the analog stick would actually work as the analog stick. I don't know why it's only working on the outer edge instead of the entire stick because on the uh, when I would play with the 360 controller I could push the stick to the left and it would point to the left or I could push the stick to the right and it would point to the right now if I want to go from left to right I have to go all the way around the circumference to get there well no I guess technically it did spring me back and forth hmm I 
just don't know. I don't know. And I definitely don't like these being the um, being the the action stuff. I guess I could do. Yeah, but yeah, I go all the way over to get it to do it. And I just, I really don't like having to be on the edge for it to actually work. It's almost like it only works with, there we are. Almost like it only works with the uh, analog if you're completely on the, on the edge. And why is it losing? Sometimes it's just losing connection with the controller. Not the controller, but the analog. So let's go with the... Let's go with an aggressive. Go medium. And... Push up that. That's a little better because you don't have to be completely at the edges. But yeah, no, this one is definitely not going to work. Well, I say definitely. Again, anything somebody could get used to it if they're playing it enough. And I'll keep trying at it, but right now, it definitely does not seem like it's going to be ideal for this one. This one seems to be the best setup um, for the most part, and I'll have to go through some of these and get them set up how I want them but I like the reload being back here um, I'm okay with the the space being here and of course the right and left mouse middle mouse to to select is okay but uh, but yeah it feels weird um, moving around and then also not moving the mouse like I'm, I'm so used to with an actual twin stick shooter to move both simultaneously and it doesn't work that way with a mouse for obvious reasons but even with the twin stick shooter mode it doesn't work that way because I would normally if I want to shoot diagonal right I would just swipe to diagonal right but now I've got to actually make sure that I on the outer edge and rotate and it, I don't know it's bizarre it's definitely bizarre I I will be putting in a uh, uh, bug report request on this because I don't know if it's the game doing that I mean it must be the game doing it A let's put the anti dead zone all the way up. Now, this should mean that there's no dead zone, so every movement on here is going to be movement or input in the game. Yeah, okay. This is better. This is pretty good actually of course now I've got to do the bumpers for this it's still ultra sensitive and uh, whoa my god yeah that's that's 
Okay. Nope. <laughs> we will stop doing that. But yeah, I mean this this kind of feels okay just in this sense. But then when you go into looking around, it's way too much. Uh, let's see if we can adjust that down a little bit. actually work of course that oh god that would fuck me up uh, if I move the anti-dead zone down some we might be onto something here might just be onto something so that allows me Yeah. yeah, 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 okay. All right, so now we want to move these to trigger and bumper because I don't like that. And this one is going to be Bumper and trigger. Okay. Okay. I think that definitely takes a little getting used to. whatever I was supposed to get there, but that's okay. A babysitter. Kids display. On top of them. I need someone to get through. This is like last time. Just be discreet. something that works. Oh, uh, let's do Tony. So we'll try it out. Whoa, hello. It's a little too sensitive, but uh, I think with some practice, you can get used to it. Oh, 
the trigger automatically selects somebody. Interesting. Okay. Not aware of that. Now, what I do need to figure out is why. see him over there um, yeah that's weird that that's or oh wait 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 um I screwed this up. So we want to make this the bumper again. I'll make this left trigger. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's make this the B button. Which should be the uh, the the weapon, pick up the weapon and all that stuff. Should be okay. And we'll go, wait. Nope, it's still okay. Still sending through trigger action. Oh, because the analog. Got it. That's why that's doing that. Soft pull B. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. What's my look around button now? Oh, that was left trigger. So I need to find something for left trigger. Um, hmm. Could do that. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. Actually, I'm going to keep that quiet. Come on, guy. It's 
doing the same thing. So I need to set this to hip fire. Because the right bumper is actually doing the hit, but it's still also outputting the right trigger, which is the select. Okay. Still outputting both of them though. Uh, oops. And that one, how do we want to do that? Because I do like that it's picking the. Um, right. And log off. trigger. Right, there we are. Okay, got that. Excellent. Alright, we're working on it here. already on him. Okay. 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 Yeah, I got to use that soft pull. Um, I like this though, the being able to just tag a target and go after it. I'm so used to now doing the soft pull to pull the trigger uh, to aim and now I'm having to I need to remember to just pull the trigger all the way down to fire like in uh, first person shooters and stuff I've been using the uh, the soft pull for like aim down sights or whatever
really. Ah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to take that off because that's that's just screwing me up every time now. So I like it, but I need to take it off. So we'll leave the right trigger on this. Or do no, you know what? This we will make the right trigger. And we'll do the Uh, we'll set the follow soft pull to that, and we will remove that. Okay. So now everything is that. Swap targets with the paddle back here. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is definitely more doable once you work out the kinks. I think. I think we might actually have saved this one from not really being usable in this. Uh, with this controller. Even though I did terrible, but learning, you know. Okay, so yeah, I like... It's still, I mean, it's still a little sensitive, so that's going to take some getting used to, but I think... I think it's definitely doable. in the other place, so. So yeah, I think we're good. I just need to remember uh, this is the targets. This is the look around. And then we've got normal attack and select the weapon. Yeah. I might actually change, man, no, maybe not. I say I may change that to be the A button, but. Methadone clinic calling, schedule a short meeting for you tonight. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this just infinitely feels better now than it did when I first started it. So now that I've gotten a little better handle on on the uh, 
how the joystick works in this. I still don't like it being out at the complete edge, but I think the anti-dead zone to bring it in closer is definitely a huge help. I gotta remember what, the, oh, it was A was the space, okay. And, yeah. And right A. And we'll do. Nope. Oh, right. Uh, that was odd. I think it actually does, I don't think the right stick does anything, like the click, does anything in the game. So, I'm not unbinding this, but I'll just make this so that it, when I need to interact with something, I can just press the button and it does it. So, oh, 24 rounds. still rough though right there okay no. oh okay you selected the wrong guy all right wait what Okay, I don't understand why it's missing the guy, even though it's locked on to him. Oh, oh, hi. Things gonna take some getting used to though. So it's it's doable if you can if you can get used to the ultra sensitivity of it. I think it's doable and okay. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think um, I don't 
don't know. Hmm. Yeah, if you can get the if you can get used to the sensitivity of the of the right pad uh, for the analog, I think it'll work well and what uh, I may end up doing is playing around both with this, excuse me, and with the um, mouse to see if I can get used to that and figure out which one I'm going to end up liking better. Oh, that's what I picked up. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it works. You just got to got to know that it's going to be really sensitive like if you're used to playing this with a with a actual joystick it's going to be a lot more sensitive than any joystick you've ever played so you got to get used to that if you have played this with keyboard and mouse uh, the way that the mouse works is awkward So, hmm. I don't know. Uh, I bound something else to A, didn't I? I did. What did I bound to A? Was it that? No, no. Oh, right, that. <laughs> Dumb. I think it's definitely doable. It's just a, a matter of getting used to it. And I don't know which one's going to be better, whether it's um, going to be the keyboard and mouse mode or whether it's going to be the gamepad mode. Um, I think I've what I've played so far, I've liked better as the gamepad mode. Um, once I got that dialed in with the dead zone and all that stuff on the, on the stick. But... It is still ultra sensitive and if there's a way maybe with that vertical sensitivity even though it's not necessarily that because it's not necessarily the vertical that I'm having a problem with it's just in general the sensitivity is seems to be higher than it should be um, so if I can play with that a little bit maybe uh, maybe I can get it dialed in to where it'll work pretty well but uh, I think so far I'm going to it's like their uh, bindings have gotten messed up again in uh, one of these updates uh, oh I guess I should have that hotline Miami And we'll do modified gamepad bindings. Be more useful. Okay. And then I'll uh, <clears throat> keep tweaking those and keep saving them publicly. So whenever I, whatever's out there will be the latest version of it. So if you want to try it out and see if you like it, be my guest. Um, and, you know, tweak it to your liking and see if you can make it work better for you too. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me this evening 
Um, I do have a couple of other games that I want to get to, but it's already, I don't even know what time it is. I know it's already later than it should be, because I got work tomorrow. But um, yeah, I got a few more games that I want to try out, so I may do another stream tomorrow night if I can uh, get to it to finish off this uh, this list that I have. <clears throat> but then otherwise, like I said, I want to get started actually playing games uh, using this controller instead of just doing quick tests and things. And if I can uh, can do that, you know, I'll obviously if I do a let's play or something like that, I'll I'll make sure to note whether or not I'm using the controller or not, and possibly do the uh, the controller cam. The only problem that I have with that is uh, it's not very comfortable as far as long playing sessions to be leaning forward and making sure that the controller is on camera and stuff. I like to be able to, you know, move the chair around or, or lean back in the chair or something like that. So, um, so I'm not sure about the controller cam, but I'll definitely be sure to denote whether or not the game is being played with the controller or not. And, you know, of course, uh, any bindings and stuff that I do will be saved publicly, or if it's a non-Steam game, um, Eventually, I'm going to probably set up something like a paste bin um, to upload everything to, and screenshots. If I, um, if it's only just the basic layout, I can do some screenshots of it, things like that. So, I'll figure something out to get get them out there. Um, but otherwise, yep, yeah, I think we're for the most part done with the major like tests like genre tests I've you know I've covered most everything that I would normally play and things that people have requested so now it's just time to have some fun with it and um, you know of course if I come up against something I'll do tests one off here and there uh, still but for the most part I think I think it's time to play Anyways, thanks for watching.